Hi everyone, this is Ashish Diani and welcome to Infosec Train. So today we are going to discuss about a web application attack, which is cross-site request forgery, right? So what is cross-site request forgery? When we are talking about CSRF, it is an attack which will allow the attacker to induce users to perform actions that they do not intend to perform. Right. So there is a policy in web applications, same origin policy, and that policy is designed to prevent different websites from interfering with each other. This attack bypasses that policy as well. Right. If we talk about the impacts of CSRF, so if an attacker is able to bypass that same origin policy and then he is able to do the CSRF attack. So he can make the victim perform the actions unintentionally, right? So the example can be attacker might be able to change the email address on the victim's account, may be able to change their password as well, or make fun transfers. So this attack was famous when financial transactions was ha were happening, right? Attackers were, they were able to send the money of the victims to their own accounts, right? They were sending link. So when we perform CSRF attack, right? In that attack, we send a link to the victim and if the victim clicks on it, so whatever that link is for, the agenda will be done, right? So we have a website that will be looking into and will be performing CSRF attack on this. So the website that I'm taking, it's this one, right? So it's like a bank website, right? I have logged into my account and there are two accounts. So I'm trying to transfer this funds from one account to another account. So I want the request that how the request that how the data is transferring, what request is going, how money is getting transferred. So let's say I want to transfer thousand bucks, right? Now that's request i will capture in my burp suit so i have burp suit up and running right in the settings i will change the proxy configuration and i'll capture this request so the request is captured now once this request is captured i can see all the things here like from account number to account number the transfer amount the transfer is transfer plus money right so I'll right click here, go to engagement tools and generate CSRF POC, right? So if you have Burp Suit Professional, it will uh, automatically create this POC for you. Now in this POC, what I will do, I will change the account number. The from account number will be 001 and two account number will be zero, 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 right? And money will be more, right? So I've increased the amount to, let's say 10,000, right? And then zero, zero, one, two, zero, zero, zero. And then what I will do, I'll just click here, test in browser. So it will give me a link. I'll copy that link, right? This request that I captured, I will forward it, put the intercept off. And again, I'll open a new browser. And let's say this is the victim only. So I have given this link to the victim, right? Victim is already logged in to his or her account. So I give gave a link to the victim, right? And we can see that it says money was successfully transferred from 001 to 000, right? And the money that I have transferred is one lakh. So this is how cross-site request forgery works. And this is how it can impact the victim, right? Now, the next thing that we have is that how we will be defending against it. 
right so when we are talking about the defense of csrf right so we have csrf tokens we have same site cookies and referrer based validation so csrf token is what it is a unique uh, secret and unpredictable value that is generated by the server side application and it is shared with the client so when you are performing a sensitive action like you are submitting a form so you have to include the correct csrf token in the request right so it will make difficult for the attacker to construct a request same like that then same site cookies so same site it is browser security mechanism so it tells when a browser or website's cookies are included in the request right and those cookies are originating from the other websites so as we are requesting to perform sensitive actions so these sensitive actions they require an authenticated session cookie right and the appropriate same site restrictions will prevent an attacker to perform these actions cross site right then we have referrer based validation so referrer based validation means uh, many of the applications they use http referrer header to defend against the csrf attacks so by verifying that request which is originated from the application's own domain so it is generally less effective than the token validation but yes it works right so this was about the csrf thank you